the at-home overview of the 7mm08 140 grain Remington Core Locks. My high velocity load was traveling just over 2800 feet per second. My first low velocity load was just over 1800 feet per second. So I shot a second one that was traveling just over um, 1900 feet per second. It was a little dark out at the range and it, they didn't appear to do as good as they actually did. So now I'll start um, right to left, right being the high velocity load at just over 2800 feet per second. I shot through a board which caused that bullet to almost instantly open. You have your um, aggressive wound channel starting after it gets to that board into the gel, penetrating all the way to the 11 inch mark, tapering down, carrying decent wound channel to the 15 inch mark, and then pin lining to the bullet rest, leading edge at 28 and a quarter. On those low velocity, well, let's come back here. That large section of that uh, permanent wound cavity is over four inches. So high velocity did what I expected, good. Well, it held, looks like it held together good. We'll dig it out here in a minute. Then we have our low velocity rounds that um, we're moving slow enough. The board didn't seem to open them up much. It started doing damage uh, right off the gate in the gel, but didn't really start to open up and hemorrhage good until almost a six inch mark, which then that hemorrhaging carries from that six inch mark to about the 18 inch mark and then the one uh, penetrated to the 27 inch mark before it exited the gel block. The other one veered down and exited through my table at approximately the 20 and a quarter inch mark with that good portion of their uh, permanent wound cavity being from the 8 inch mark to that uh, 19 inch mark for sure good at just over 3 inches on that permanent wound cavity. So overall definitely did good at both uh, high and lower velocities. Let me dig this bolt out here so we can get a look at it. I'm just going to cut straight into my bolt to it. I'll try to clean some of the gel out of it so we can get a retained weight semi-accurate measurement on it. There it is, a pretty mushroom. I'm gonna go run it under some hot water real quick and I'll be right back so I can get a better uh, retained weight measurement and get that gel out of there. with that gel out of there and what's left there we have 94.5 grains of weight retention so I can see why they refer to it as the deadliest mushroom in the woods it uh, definitely is a very lethal on impact bullet and I think it helps that probably the most sold bullet ever is the 180 grain core lock in the 30-06 which gives them legitimate claim to the deadliest mushroom in the woods. Hope you guys enjoy this video.